Osaka. It is today a metropolis with a population of 8.5 million and the hub of administrative, political, and cultural activities of Western Japan. In the suburbs of this ever changing mega city, you will find a unique landscape with numerous ancient monuments, large and small. A great number of mounded tombs called Kofun are concentrated on the Osaka Plain. Mounded tombs in the shape of a keyhole. This is unique to Japan and not found anywhere else in the world. They still have an imposing presence, even 1,600 years since their construction. This is the Mozu Furuichi Kofun Group, Mounded Tombs of Ancient Japan, which is nominated for UNESCO World Heritage Property Status. Near the center of the Japanese archipelago, in the southern part of the Osaka Plain is the Mozu area, situated near Osaka Bay, which was a gateway of exchange between ancient Japan and the East Asian powers of the time. The Furuichi area is 10 kilometers to the east of Mozu. Each area has numerous kofun of different sizes within a two-kilometer radius. The tombs built between the late 4th century and the late 5th century in these two areas were specifically selected for the World Heritage nomination. At the center of the Mozu area, there is a giant keyhole-shaped tomb called Nintoku Tenno Ryo Kofun. This is the largest Kofun in Japan and dates back to the early half of the 5th century. Its mound is 486 meters long. This is as massive as the Pyramid of King Khufu in Egypt and the mausoleum of the first emperor of the Qing dynasty in China. The mound is surrounded by a triple moat filled with water. More than 10 satellite kofuns surround it. They are believed to inter close family members or important retainers of the individual buried in Nintoku Tennoryo Kofun. To the north, there is Hanze Tennoryo Kofun. To the south, there is Richu Tennoryo Kofun, the third largest kofun in Japan. If we go to the east, Itasuke Kofun. Gobyoyama Kofun. And Nisanzai Kofun. There are also many other kofun ranging in sizes and of various shapes concentrated in this area. Sitting dominantly in the heart of the Furuichi area, Ojin Tennoryo Kofun, which is the second largest in Japan after Nintoku. 
The mound of this giant kofun is 425 meters long. It is believed to have been built sometime in the first half of the 5th century. On the hill extending from Ojin Tennoryo Kofun to the north are Nakatsuhime no Mikotoryo Kofun and Ingyo Tennoryo Kofun. To the northwest of the Kofun group, there is Tsudo Shiroyama Kofun. On the hill extending to the south, Chuai Tennoryo Kofun. Further south, there are Hakayama Kofun. and Hakuchoryo Kofun. Besides these, many other tombs of various sizes are concentrated here. Mozu Furuichi Kofun Group, a World Heritage Candidate property, is the largest of its kind. This serial property comprises 49 mounded tombs of different sizes and shapes in 45 component sites. They offer us clues to understand society at the time and its political structure. From the early to late Kofun period, mounded tombs were built successively and eventually a large tomb group was formed. The period between the mid-3rd century and the late 6th century in Japan is called the Kofun period, during which an ancient kingly power was in its formation process. Kofun are the burial mounds of kings and other elites in ancient Japan. More than 160,000 kofun were built across a wide area of the Japanese archipelago. The tombs belonging to the Mozu Furuichi kofun group come in four shapes, keyhole, scallop, square, and round. The mound's size-shape combination is thought to correspond to the political hierarchy of the buried individuals. The largest ones are always in a keyhole shape. A round mound and a square mound join together to form a keyhole. Such an extremely complex and distinctive design is unique to Japan. People of the Kofun period did not leave any substantial written records, nor significant structures such as cities and palaces. This makes the mounded tombs unique and the most important witness to eloquently testify to the past presence of the ancient kingly power of Japan which was then emerging into the East Asian region's political scene. In the Mozu Furuichi Kofun group, the largest keyhole-shaped tombs in the archipelago are considered to belong to successive kings, with many other Kofun surrounding them. This tomb group is positioned at the center of the archipelago-wide Kofun building phenomenon and is the clearest example of the king's authority and influence. Today, many of the kofun are covered with trees. At a glance, they look like wooded hills. However, the original shape of the earthen mounds can be accurately recognized by using modern digital survey technology. This is Muko Hakayama Kofun, 
a square kofun about 70 meters long. This round one of 62 meters is Dayanjiyama kofun. The 65 meter long Mago Dayuyama kofun has a scallop shaped mound with its square part much shorter than that of a keyhole shaped one. Nichu Tennoryo Kofun is a keyhole shaped tomb. The mound measures 365 meters. You can see a beautiful three tiered structure. Now, let's take a look at how Kofun were made based on survey results from multiple Kofun. An elevated site, such as a plateau, was chosen for Kofun construction so that people could see the tomb from afar. For the Nintoku Tennoryo Kofun, the earth around the site was piled up to form a three-tiered mound. The volume is estimated to be about 1.4 million square meters. The sloping sides of the mound were covered with stones for decoration, as well as for preventing soil erosion. Cylindrical haniwa, or clay figures, were lined up, estimated to number as many as 29,000. On the projected section, called tsukuridashi, are various representational haniwa in the shapes of houses and armor, as well as sue ware vases. This is thought to have been the site of a funerary ritual for the king to be interred. A stone chamber for the king's coffin was built in the round section in a pit excavated from above. When a king died, his body was placed in a stone coffin, which was then interred in the stone chamber. This is a photograph of a stone coffin unearthed in 1912 from the Tsudo Shiroyama Kofun. This 3.5 meter long stone chamber was buried in the center of the round section. The coffin was accompanied by artifacts such as armor, It is believed that an extravagant funerary ritual took place on the mound. Once completed, the stone chamber was sealed and Haniwa were placed over the mound. It is estimated to have taken 15 years and 8 months to build Nintoku Tennoryo Kofun, with a maximum of 2,000 people working every day, equaling 6.8 million days of labor. Such evidence suggests that Kofun construction was an extremely significant civil engineering undertaking, requiring sophisticated execution and labor management. were unearthed at Kofun sites. This is Konda Maruyama Kofun, adjacent to Ojin Tennoryo Kofun. This gold-plated saddle ornament with a dragon pattern is a first-class artifact of its kind in East Asia. It indicates that the practice of horse riding had been brought over from the mainland. from Minegazuka Kofun. 
Ornamental artifacts using gold, silver, and glass beads are proof of exchange with the cultures of the mainland. Nomaka Kofun is located near Hakayama Kofun. When excavated, many iron-made arms, such as body armor, helmets, weapons, and other goods, were found in wooden boxes. A characteristic of burial artifacts from the middle Kofun period is having many military armaments, such as swords and armor. These abundant burial artifacts also testify that the area was a gateway for East Asian maritime exchange, where people had opportunities to mingle with visitors from continental East Asia. The Mozu Furuichi Kofun Group is well protected and managed by the national and local governments, as well as other entities. The Kofun Group includes mounded tombs, which are the resting places of past emperors and members of the imperial family. They are called Ryobo and are directly maintained by the national government. The rest of the mounded tombs are managed as historic sites by local municipalities and private individuals in accordance with the law for the protection of cultural properties. <laughs> Local residents help to communicate the site's value to visitors. Buffer zones are established around the Kofun group in order to create a unique townscape which exists in harmony with the Kofun. You could say the Mozu Furuichi Kofun group was the key element of the Kofun period. It is a representation of the Kofun burial mound type, which is unique to the Japanese archipelago. At the same time, it is a testimony to the culture of the Kofun period, in which the social structure, with a king at its top, was symbolized by mounded tombs of different sizes and shapes.